Technology for good is something that I started actively thinking about five years back with two other friends, Sri Krishna and Praveen. The only problem was we did not have an idea. So we started uh, scouting for problems instead. Problems that we could relate to, that we could connect to, that we felt had a huge social and environmental impact and which had a role for technology. Now being in Bangalore, the first three problems that came to our minds were waste, water, and transportation, something that any Bangalorean can relate to. Uh, and it just happened that we started to dig into waste first and, and kept on doing that. Now talking of the waste problem, we all know it's massive. We generate more than 50 billion kgs of waste per year, and most of this ends up in illegal dump yards all around the country. We are staring at an ecological disaster. And organic waste accounts for more than 40% of this entire fraction of urban waste. And what we felt the key reason for this entire mess was the fact that the perceived value of organic waste was zero or negative. This despite the fact that organic waste has a huge energy potential. Every kilogram of organic waste can potentially light up a CFL lamp throughout the night. And this can happen through biogas, which is a natural process for breaking down organic waste into two very useful byproducts energy in the form of methane and manure. However, that was clearly not happening. Uh, and the reason what, uh, why we felt that was not happening was because biogas had not been redesigned from, uh, for the present, forget the future. Our cities are growing vertically, there's no space around, and we felt that biogas had to be redesigned, keeping that in mind. This is a picture of a traditional biogas plant, and it's not hard to imagine that there will be very few establishments in a city like Bombay who can house such a huge solution. For biogas to be relevant, we felt that it has to be made much more compact and ideal, ideally like a Lego kit whose individual components can be placed wherever possible, yet made, made to work together. Now, making biogas smaller and more compact meant accelerating its digestion process through biotechnology and cutting down its, on its water needs. We realized that traditional biogas plants need a lot of water despite the fact that 70% of organic waste is moisture. The idea was to make use of the inherent moisture and waste and that way make biogas even much more sustainable. Keeping these factors in mind, we started uh, building a prototype in 2011 and what you see on the right is one of our favorite projects. That, this project is housed in Green Park Hotel in Hyderabad. The reason why it is special is, like most of the hotels, Green, Mar Green Park had very little, uh, very limited uh, non-revenue generating space. The only space that we had for setting up the plant were discrete patches of land around the sewage treatment plant. But we were still able to do that, and we are very proud to say that today, not only do we treat their entire waste, but one of the kitchens of Green Parks runs on the clean fuel that we generate from their very own waste. We found another big shortcoming with biogas, and which was around the reliability of these systems. Now, biogas plants are prone to, prone to breakdowns. And that's because they are biological systems. They face digestive problems exactly like the human body does. The human body, however, is amazing in the sense that it has a way of letting us know the moment a digestive problem starts building up. All we need is a simple digene or some other tablet to preempt or prevent that, uh, that problem from, from escalating further. But biogas, on the other hand, had not been smart. They did not have an alert mechanism. So we felt that we needed to make biogas much more smarter, uh, probably an internet of thing. And that formed the basis of the remote diagnostics feature of our solution. So today, uh, all of our plants have a remote monitoring system, uh, which in turn gets all kinds of data about the health of the system through various sensors and a health checker, which we specifically built for this particular feature. All kinds of electrical and mechanical alarms are sent to third-party technicians, whereas all kinds of bio alarms and the health status of the plants are sent to a bio maintenance team in Bangalore. They interpret the data and in turn, just like a doctor would remotely tell a patient what medicine to take, they do the same to these third party technicians. So this way, without actually being physically there, we are able to run multiple uh, such solutions all across India and now Bangladesh and at 100% plant uptime which was unheard of, this, uh, unheard of in this particular space. And to give an example of the impact, uh, uh, our first commercial project uh, was set up for Akshay Patra in Bangalore. We set that up in early 2013. And again, we, uh, it gives us immense pride to say that since 2013, it has been, this plant has been running nonstop. And we have ensured that no waste from this particular kitchen ever went to the landfills again. In the last... In the last two and a half years, we have generated more than 30,000 kilograms of clean fuel from their very own waste. 
uh, and the aspiration, needless to say, is to create many more such success stories across the world. We are already have taken this solution to eight other states in India as well as Bangladesh. And what uh, what what is absolutely exhilarating is the fact that this solution, which we built in a small workshop uh, in Bomanahalli industrial area in Bangalore, now is finding relevance in in Singapore, in Kuala Lumpur, in uh, in Turkey, and uh, as well as LA. Uh, very recently, uh, WWF gave us the Climate Solver Award, uh, and according to, according to them, this particular solution has the potential to mitigate over 44 million tons of greenhouse gases by 2024. And, and, and that is what keeps, and keeps us going. But this is not where we want to stop. We believe bioenergy or biogas has the potential to be as relevant and be the perfect complement for solar energy. A very big problem with solar energy or rather a shortcoming of solar energy is the fact that its storage cost is very high. You need to store it in batteries. Biogas, on the other hand, can be stored in a balloon. And rural India needs power after sunset. And that is where we feel biogas or bioenergy can play a big role. This is a picture of, a, uh, of one of our power plants near Hyderabad. The interesting thing is that it runs on chicken poop. The poop from 10 birds can actually light up a lamp throughout the night. And the mind-boggling fact is that we have 80 crore chickens in India. So, so we are talking of insane amounts of uh, chicken poop, uh, 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 which can light up 30, uh, which, which can light, light up the houses for 30 crore Indians. But, but there is a problem there. Uh, it's not possible to ship chicken, uh, chicken poop everywhere. Uh, after all, it, it, it stinks like shit. So, uh, uh, so what we felt was that, um, uh, why not look at biogas from a different perspective? Why not map it to other kinds of available feedstocks? Uh, and what we felt was the art is in finding uh, the local fit for, for biogas. For instance, India has one of the longest coastlines uh, in the world. And, we, uh, and that extends till 22 kilometers. So we can grow a lot of seaweeds. And we have already demonstrated that we can generate good amount of uh, energy from seaweeds. That's an amazing feedstock for biogas, which is, which is good enough to en solve the entire rural energy needs for coastal India. On similar lines, uh, if, we were, if I were to go to the northeast of India, it's far away from the coastline. But something which is very endemic to northeast is elephant grass. If any of you have ever been to Kaziranga, you'd, you'd have definitely seen these elephant, elephant grass grow, grow wildly. And that has a huge energy potential, much more than food waste or, or seaweeds and all. And we believe that this could be the answer for solving the energy problem needs for the remotest part of the northeast. Uh, coming back to urban waste, uh, while we are, uh, as of today, we are solving the problem for individual establishments, the dream, of course, is to do much more. Our dream is to, uh, is to create uh, an organized market for wet waste for the first time. And this by putting a price tag on organic waste. And in Bangalore today, we are already started, have started working towards that. We are, st uh, we are working towards building a network of decentralized biogas plants where local waste management organizations can actually come and sell organic waste for the first time. Because we know that behavioral change takes time. And, and the only way we can enforce segregation is through incentivization, not through penalties. What gives us absolute joy and confidence is the fact that, like us, there are many other startups, there are many other firms who are working towards the same problem. Many, many of us are already collaborating for achieving this goal. And, and we are absolutely confident that very soon, waste will be so valuable that it will never ever end up on the streets and hopefully landfills will be a thing of the past. Thank you.